Good morning, everybody. John Grimsmo here, back for another day of awesome in the Grimsmo Knives Workshop. You are currently sitting on our new Nakamura machine. This came yesterday. Today, the service tech is scheduled to arrive soon, hopefully. Uh, he said he had one thing to do in the morning, and then he can come over. It's probably probably around 10 o'clock now. Um, yeah, I want to see this thing get plugged in. It's wired up. Um, it just needs to be kind of leveled and him go through all this stuff, make sure it all works right. Um, what else? What else? Uh, yeah, big long day yesterday. Um, very exciting, very draining. I stayed up way too late editing that video of the delivery of this machine. Uh, it was up until almost 2 o'clock in the morning doing that. So I'm kind of fried today. Um, However, I think I can just focus until the guy gets here. I can get the Mori running. I've got Rask parts to make out the yin yang, and that's the big pallets are working really, really, really well. So I'm excited to get those just rocking. Um, it's it's so nice to see that machine run for about two hours and twenty minutes. Hands off. If it breaks a tool, breakage detection will catch it. I don't have to worry about it. I can do other stuff. So I'm gonna get that puppy humming, and um, then I'm not sure what else. Yeah, I'm really fried this morning. But, let's have fun. The service technician has arrived, started to take some panels off, get things hooked up, check the power and all that. This is the uh, sub-spindle side. So, I don't know if that's the B-axis motor, the sub-spindle in and out, or the sub-spindle, uh, no, it's not the RPM motor, like the spindle motor. Anyway, lots of hydraulic. This machine is completely hydraulic, not air operated, like the Mori tool changer runs on air, this is all hydraulic. The only requirement for air on this machine is the spindle blower blast thingy. It's got the back panel off, which looks pretty awesome back here. So if I'm reading this right, the big one's probably the um, live tooling motor. This would be Y and this would be the X motor. Ball screws back there, linear rails. Really cool stuff. The most important question of the day is where do we put this? Right on the window. Yeah, it's like, it. no, like right here, I think, is the right place to put it. It's alive. You bolt it on like an angled tool holder, basically. Yep. You have to indicate it this way so that you're, because you can move it on the bolts. Okay. And you want to be less than 10 micron, which I was. That's pretty tight. And then just tells us that that corner needs to come up, kind of. And huh. this is only the low setting, then you switch, when you get it close, you switch over to high. Huh. And then it's perfect. That's crazy. Oh, it's a big Deshawa one. Yeah. Cool. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's now thir Thursday. Thursday. Um, service techs have been here. It's kind of mid-afternoon. Eric is installing coolant into the machine. I can't see. All right, go. Your beard is in the way. Mm -hmm. It'll be. We'll do that. <laughs> Feels kind of weird to just pour it right in the. Uh, in the machine, but you know. But people mention that on Instagram too, like why don't you just put it in the machine? Right. Because on the Mori we do it around the coolant tank on the back. And I always do it, or usually do it while it's running anyway. Right. Um, but yeah, so uh, the guy checked level the next, like the day after today, and it, it had changed a hair, so he tweaked it, but it's, you know, it's settling in on the concrete. Um, it's a lot of weight to kind of settle, so it, that's good. Um, chip conveyor is now hooked up. There's a little bit of an issue, like wiring, like they got to come back next week and figure this out. Um, not a big deal. So we're going to put this guy right here on the dent. I think that'll work great. Clean it off first. Mm. 
Yeah. Dent gone. End of day Friday. Um, service techs are gone. They're going to come back tomorrow. Basically to... Um, we filled it up with coolant. And we're going to check for leaks. We're going to run the high pressure coolant, which I haven't seen yet. 300 PSI. Um, I had to go buy... Uh, I had to go buy an airline, which will basically gonna rejigger this, so that'll put air to the uh, to the lathe. Now this machine does not. I think I mentioned this. It doesn't actually need air, only for the blower. And there's one here too. One of those two. I'm not sure which one. Probably that one. Um, and that's if during a transfer, if you want to blow off the part. Uh, if there's any swirlies or coolant or whatever and you need to blow it off, that, that could be helpful. I don't know if we're actually going to need it. But I hooked it up anyway, um, so i got to do that. And then, yeah, we're going to check for leaks. And then he's going to go over all of the um, uh, maintenance and regular interval kind of stuff that we have to check and maintain and, you know, things like that. So tomorrow, hopefully, once I sign off on his work and once he teaches me what I need to know, then it's mine. Then I can, like, play with it. What's up everybody, it's now Friday. We just went over all the maintenance, safety, regular interval stuff that we have to do on this, on this new lathe. Um, got some of the covers off. Checking out the really huge belt drive system. Very smooth how this thing all works. Parts catcher mechanisms. There's so much going on in here. Um, this is where we'll be loading the bars from. It's got spindle liners. And this is a 3 8 liner, so I can have a four foot bar would come out to here, which is maybe a hair longer than you want it to be. You don't want too much out here or else it'll could bend and whip and wreak all kinds of havoc. Um, so maybe just under a four foot bar would be pretty safe for us to do. But yeah, it's full of coolant and uh, everything's all good to go. All right, it's all ours now. Service tech is gone. He made us sign papers and we are free to go now. Uh, pretty soon the applications guys are gonna come back and they're gonna teach us more about the machine. We're gonna go through all the menus and we're gonna do everything like, like in depth. And uh, they're gonna help us prove out the codes and all that. But you know what? I got another five hours here. I gotta make something. I, I feel pretty confident with um, understanding how to make it work and I really got to get the fusion post processor to post good code to this so I can read it that's what I need to work on today to make sure I can do that um, I might might try to do milling today as well on the lathe which would be cool so we'll see but for now uh, let me show you guys something let's do let's see if this works with no errors M7 there we go this is low pressure coolant. This is the standard coolant pump. You see it comes out there too to wash the chips off. And uh, as the applications guys told me, you can pee harder than that. So that's low pressure coolant. Um, reset, we'll turn the high pressure coolant on, which is M8, the standard call. Uh, a little bit different, 300 PSI. Obviously, that one needs to be aimed better at the tip of the tool. Maybe put a nozzle on it or something. Not a big deal. Yeah, big difference. Big, big difference. So I figured out that the coolant nozzles on all of these are threaded for an M6 by 1.0 thread. And with that, I was easily able to adjust the aim. So I'm assuming if I adjust it this way, it'll hit that insert much better. Um, same goes for like, that one's not threaded, but yeah, there's all different kinds. And then a really quick Google search showed lots of options. There's replacement balls that have smaller nozzles on them. There's balls with a tube on it, so you can like angle it around. 
there's there's all kinds of different things. So it's, it's obviously been figured out before. Um, I just gotta figure out what you know what I want to get, what do I what do I need, and all that. And this is more of a slightly down the road optimizing kind of thing. So high pressure coolant is kind of awesome, aimed slightly more properly, <laughs> right at the door. Works. <laughs> ah, interesting. Wow, it's a lot of coolant. <laughs> 